It's a guy that's stuck in the 2v2 set because you can't take him out of it. But you put him in any 1v1 or King of the Hill, and he beats anyone. He beats Jupiter King. That is why a BO5 really does lean in favor of Space Station when a lot of times people would say, no, 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 they're like, threes because their 2v2 is always oh, going to work. You know? so here, oh, the look at that! The ghost somewhere in the wow, lock of the a few surprises here. Azili's in for Buffmac, which after that 1v1 set, oh, let's maybe go. you get it, maybe you get it. Let's go, Adelis. Let's go. Một tấm bài an toàn. Một tấm bài này có phong độ cao. Pisman. Pislap. Giờ gốc này ta chơi balloon rồi, balloon minor. Lightning, so oi. Tuy nhiên thì mất chấp này giờ gốt đại ca sẽ control cái game. Có bị cách. Goblin bắn được một chút rồi, Balloon có một hit không? Balloon không được một hit. Nhưng mà đây, Muskety sẽ đi phép tên này hợp lý. Anh xin đâu? Hit for baby. Hello. Um, nhưng đỡ được bởi vì là sơn này anh ta được các bạn các, các bác quên được là hơi khó nhỉ? Bởi vì là trong sơn này không có con lumber jack. Anh ta sử dụng con ic và có đi cách đi cách được gì đây? Đây, Royal Zion bánh ngược hướng Ngược hướng với Royal Cake Và rất dễ bị Lightning Anh ta cần phải cycle được hai con Goblin Cake Và ít nhất là hai con Muskety hai con Muskety Goblin Cake mình kia đi hướng hướng Ba Lung đều hướng đấu trụ Nhưng mà nếu mà đấu trụ thì Azit anh ta có lợi thế hơn Lightning phải dùng bạn đến Ba Lung Thì như vậy Muskety nó sẽ thịt con Baby Dragon gần Chắc chắn luôn Skeleton hơi chậm No bone Thấy rất cẩn thận trong cái tên này vì Anzi biết anh ta sẽ đẩy con Musk Rơ ra đây luôn Đúng rồi, chuẩn bài Ui, Musk Bắt cái gì bắt không phải lồng ngay nên chuẩn hệ vụ xuất hiện Không có một hit đến từ Rơ ra đây Cục tốt Giờ gốc anh ta đẩy bài cực nhanh Đây là thời điểm đẩy Balloon Rồi, cảm ơn của Golden Tech hợp lý Tuy nhiên, tên này sẽ bị Lightning Lightning rồi Golden Tech tiếp theo Rất tốt Đúng như mình dự đoán anh ta phải đẩy được hai con Golden Tech Rồi, dùng Snowball quá hay đẩy baby ra gần lùi lại và con trụ và trụ uh, reset nó bắn thêm một vài tơ nữa vẫn có một hit lên từ baby máu rất trâu sau một vài đợt nét thì em vẫn trâu đi tiếp tục là lightning và fisherman cực kỳ là khó chịu bởi vì là con này khi mà nó phải nó mà nó mà mục tiêu của nó là mất city thì gần như là không còn có một con nào bị fan nữa thời điểm để bày ba luôn mất city đâu Tên đi đầu tên này cũng hợp lý Không cần phải coi lo con Mega bởi vì là Ai xin đâu Không có đủ Ely để Lightning Còn con Fixer Man mùa này tốt Nó xác định mục tiêu quá nhanh Muskety không chết Goblin Hex Goblin Hex Thời điểm nhân 3 Ely Độ đánh cực nhanh không có một hit từ Royal Zion và luôn đẩy lên và luôn sẽ nhanh hơn và luôn Miner sẽ nhanh hơn tuy nhiên thì Royal Zion và Lightning chặn được không tên này đây bắn chết con trai Zion 
Rồi rốt đi Nguy hiểm quá, tuần này sẽ bị Lightning đây Lightning hát bài rồi Balloon Đây là thời điểm Balloon only one Balloon minor Lót Hai Ho Three Two Ôi đập luôn, đập máy luôn Somewhere in CRL and uh, once again try bust that out and takes the W so here we see RF Head and hands gonna take a seat for the rest of the day. Samuel up next, then followed by Lapicata if necessary. Oh, but luck must here we play. go. Azilis, Samuel, King of the Hill. You know, we forget about Azilis as a head to head player. Skeleton Barrel. Lifetime over his career has a 53% win rate in the third and the final set. In his last season with Team Queso, he was 67% in King of the Hill with two Azilis King of the Hill chơi đúng 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 Wow. Wow, you forget about oh. that, right? Goblin. You do, but I know guys who has not, and that's Azili's and Tribe game. Wow, right there, Sam, with a massive blow. That royal delivery. Everybody has to head heading on the the bottom of the screen. Where you from, Vietnam? Azili and that is a one-way or double-way with something. You can see my Goblin barrels. Samuel out to an early comfortable lead. You know, we talk about this every time we see Bay Andrew. If you're behind playing against it or behind playing with it, either way, that momentum is critical. Yeah, you know, and it's looking like this year is going to be running graveyard, so we'll see how that fares against the double bait deck. And Goblin Barrel in again. Two goblins on top. Bây giờ Dark Goblin xử lý như thế nào? Đây con Dark Goblin phải dùng Poison. Như vậy là trong cái tuần này sẽ không có một đàn lúc và quên chắc tấn công. Và sẽ đợi tuần sau. With that drop delay, will be a part of that. Một ít của Baba Yang. Once those players do start coming in. The big question I think for Samuel is going to be how does he set the line? How does he prevent the huge tank? What kind of lead can he get before we get into double and even worse for the next one? Yeah, the big thing about that is the team's barbarians very, very managed. The bar post can be hard to get to, so he has to deal with the barbarians very, very well and very cheaply. The khó trong cái bài trai em bắt chấp này đó là vậy. Skeleton barrel goes into the bar pot on the left hand side. You see how it's set up there a little bit more to the left than you might normally see and. That's knowing where Samuel wants to play at the moment. Trong thời điểm này, yeah, that's a bit of what I was talking about. Samuel and Tao không thể cầu được. That dark album plus the skeleton barrel to get a lot of damage on that bar pot probably takes away half of its health. And again, makes sense. Như thế cuối của Samuel and Tao không phải là một cái rocket mà nó là một một là một cái cái infernal tower. Delivery skeletons do their easy work on the right. Oh, infernal tower, the defense is now on the left. It's going to be the skeleton dragons, but they're not a perfect response. They're going to give a little bit of damage every single time. 10.27 to 17.06. Chủ không bắn tới cái con rồi xong. The idea there is that they're going to create a little bit of a counter push, but if he's not going to get a big enough counter push, these barrels are really really adding up. Rất có thêm một đam đến từ đằng Skeleton Barrel. And look at that right hand side. Yeah, and that's on the right. Yeah, and that's wow. Giả lý thì anh ta sử dụng hơi chậm. Thả ra rồi, đi vào lý hơi chậm một nhịp. Và tiếp tục Skeleton Barrel bên phía bên phải. So now the skelly dragon is going right, so the barrel goes left. On that bottom left-hand tower, Samuel with the lead in both lanes at least for the moment. But as RF has said about Graveyard, you quoted earlier today, Andrew, it only takes one. And this, I don't even think he's going to get that one down. If he does, he's going to be last ditch heaven right now. Yes, he is. We're going to see something played up very, very high. There are the skeletons. There's the knight. Dark Goblin's in the back and the front. Và bây giờ là đẩy Skeleton Barrel là lên nữa xong rồi Còn một cái lót Rồi 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 and here you go. Goblins will stab. That's going to be a sin. Takes game number two and evens up the set. This has been such a crazy back and forth today. Azilis takes out RF. So let's see who's getting paid today. TNT versus Samuel. Game number three. Okay, we're going to have TNT somewhere. Oh, I expected nothing less out of this matchup, and I love it.
just love that we got back here after those first two sets going to Tribe Game. Yeah. It really felt like, ah, oh, this so could be, this could be disastrous for the Space Station. But great battle Zayden. back from Lapo and Arya to put us in the situation. Oh god, Freedens. So here we go, just a bunch of leaked elixir from both sides of the board. No, Royal Zayden, just happy to sit back and Samuel maybe run into a giant. TNT maybe run into a little bit of graveyard. This meta has been, oh look at that, very aggressive Royal Giant for Samuel to open up. Fire Moon, but by Loon. Fireball gonna clean up those dragons. Go. Yeah, he had the fireball in hand. He kind of knew that those dragons were gonna come out once he saw the barb hut and decided to go ahead and play Hunter. that, uh, play that Royal Giant please. and bait them out and get some value. Knowing he has the Hunter here, pretty confident in spending that extra elixir, but I'll be honest, he did feel like that fireball might have been a slight overspend, so now you see he's behind by about four or three elixir. We'll see if TNT chooses to press that advantage or not. Ở trong các tuần tiếp theo khi mà TNT đang dồn được hai cái Barbarian thì Barbarian hút thì gần như Samuel không đi fan được. Dùng Fister Man hay là Hunter để tìm Fan Rip Jab là không hợp lý. Làm bát thì sẽ rất dễ bị khoai dần. Đây là điểm mắt kia chi. Như vậy Samuel ta cần phải giết được với Barbarian hút trước. Yeah, two Royal Giants in single elixir, and you're gonna have to wonder about that decision in the long run. Very, very aggressive play from the young land ladder star here in the opening two. Yeah, very aggressive is a great way to put it, and you know, his defense have been pretty, pretty clean, but this Musketeer gonna get a few shots in on that right-hand tower, and that was bound to happen eventually. Zoy. And now they're pretty evened up on elixir at this stage. Delivery down, heal spirit helping, but not on the Royal Giant. We'll support this bridge battle, though. Yeah, Hunter gonna pull that musketeer right into tower range. Rất khó đây các thầy bà chủ. Ôi, dây vẫn bắn như vậy nhưng mà support khá là khó. And this has been the the game plan every single time here for Samuel. The moment he sees that barb hut come down, RG into the opposite lane. Yeah, it's all about managing those barbs. They they just when they pile up, it's so easy to pull the trigger on a graveyard, and that's the last thing that Sam needs right now because. Here's the thing, if you look at Sam's defense for Graveyard, it's not great, right? TNT, anh không, anh ta không biết yeah, làm cách nào để giết được con Fist Summon phía sau. Và trong cái matchup này thì gần như Summon anh ta chỉ đẩy cái combo là Royal Zayn và bây giờ thì điểm cho Hunter. Combo một Fist Summon và Royal Zayn. Tuy nhiên, một cái lúc. Đúng như mình dự đoán đó là Fist Summon và Hunter gần như là bị thết chết thôi dùng và thương như bị thêm chất khó. Dùng phải dùng Fire Bone để phèn nó lỗi. Works out Kitten. well for him, although notice also that the placement of the TNT has not really given any fireball time, uh, value for those skeleton dragons to put them high enough so there's no tower damage. Yeah, that's a really, really smart play by TNT. Not only is he not giving tower damage, he's also not giving other troop damage by playing them on top of things like a musketeer or even just the knight. Fireball. And this time the heal spirit does leap and gives some support to that royal giant. Yeah, so that's a great adjustment there by Samuel. He goes, okay, he's gonna play those royal giants every single time. I don't want to fireball. Let's use them then with that heal spirit and give my push a little bit more life. But in a fireball and come in. And now second royal giant bar put not available. It's gonna be a lot of damage here for Samuel on the left hand side. Fireball in to make some more room. This is a huge chunk for Sam. That was massive. Log cleans up that musketeer. Another unit has to come down here. No, does not. Does not come down just in time. But RG in again. Còn bác đã cắn chết con skeleton bạn. Hai bar cut this time. Chúng ta còn bốn mươi hai giây nữa. Does not touch it. Does not on the barbs. And now fireball cycling does get the musketeer as well. Samuel and strong control. But the final thirty-five seconds. Here we go. Takes across the river. Hunter down inside of that poison. Heal spirit on the back end to try to jump and get some splash. Cannot play those skeletons. There they are up high. TNT will he keep the pressure? Probably one more graveyard here, but still has to defend against this royal giant. Is he going to play a bar putt with fifteen seconds left? He does. That's going to be rough for him on the offensive side. Trying to get back in. I don't know if TNT has enough. He's going to play a desperate graveyard here. He's not going to do enough though. There you have it. Samuel going to take game number three of this King of the Hill and give match point to Space Station Gaming. Space Station battling or Space Station Gaming has been battling all 
day long. They dropped the first two sets. They bounced back in sets three and four, and now it's just oh. been left from that immortal squad. AC, RF, Lapo, and Trainer Luis going and restarting here with a new org. Can they make it to finals? Okay, let's go. go. Samuel, top of your screen for Space Station. Somewhere. Gaming. I see well done. Jupiter King, undefeated until earlier today at the bottom to keep Tribe alive. He has to take out Samuel Basoto and then the Belarusian Lapakati. I'll cycle. <laughs> I'll cycle. It's a lot of cycle here from Samuel. I'll cycle. There's no way this is 2.6. There's no way this is 2.6. Don't even don't even think it for a second. No, it's minor balloons. There you and go. And there you go. It's going to be minor balloon. Jupiter King looking like it might be the Ram Rider. Oh, oh. And Royal Hawks. Hawks. Yeah, Royal Hawks going to come out. You see the Magic Archer there thinking maybe a little bit of Fireball bait. And uh, Heal Spirit logged off this time. And that Magic Archer does not line up. So this is interesting, Andrew, because this deck from Samuel used to run, run Bomb Tower, which has some advantages against the Royal Hogs that maybe that Goblin Cage doesn't possess. That's a very, very solid Ooh. point you make. It would be really nice to have that Bomb Tower right now. All that splash damage on those piggies, but Mega Knight going to work its way down the left-hand side. Maybe the single-target DPS of the Brawler will be a better payoff I see some as we get in five minutes. And there you see the Magic Archer dropped immediately so knowing that the Goblin Cage was probably coming down against the Mega Knight. It gets a little bit of geometry there, a shot on the tower, Musky and the Brawler. Ooh, and look at that, high Goblin Cage Ooh. to keep the Magic Archer alive. Musketeer somehow it's retargets, quite. but I really like what Sam did there with dropping the Ice Golem after the Cage so pop to so the Goblin Brawler go to town on that Mega Knight as opposed to tanking for the Mega Knight. This is going to be a challenging yeah. one for Samuel to try to break through down, the, 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 the cage, the e is and the snowball. Gets one big shot Just here on the left-hand side, but this seems like it's going to be a challenging one against Jupiter. Yeah, Sam's really got to take advantage of the, the quicker parts of his cycle, and he's got to be okay to change lanes, and there you go. You see it already in the left-hand side on the back right-hand side, even though that's the healthier tower. And here we go, big push on that right-hand lane, minor up high the banner, no dash on the minor. And look at that perfect defense from Jupiter King against the balloon. And a lot coming across the river here for Jupiter King. One very healthy brawler, healthy E Wiz, and a healthy Magic Archer. Royal Hogs come down left hand side. And with the E Wiz on the right hand side, it's pick your poison right now for Samuel. Tons of damage coming in both lanes. Bandit gonna dash to the miner as well. Uh, Power chill. down under 1,000 HP Mazzica on the left chill. hand side. 1117 on the right. Samuel in tons of trouble. And look at that. Jupiter King looking for that Ice Golem. Sam logs the Magic Archer away. It only gets one piercing shot through, but a big shot it was. Cage down, Musketeer low. Skeleton's trying to prevent a little extra damage. Operative to kill Spirit does not get extra damage there for Jupiter on the left-hand side. Some man, I sudden death of overtime. Samuel fighting for his life. Yeah, and here we go. Jupiter King going to double down on defense. Right-hand side. Know, and it will be enough to, on the left to just take a Lock. little bit of damage. Those cards no stack one, on top no. of each other because he doesn't have to worry about <laughs> a big spell some... here from Samuel. <sighs> that was the right idea from Samuel, trying to find some way to deal with the, with the Electro Wizard. But look at the amount of protection that Jupiter yeah. King gave to the wizard between the snowball, the heal spirit, keeping it alive. Brilliant job by Jupiter King to know what Samuel wanted to do to break through and preventing that from happening. Exactly. Jupiter King knows the most important card for every single one of those defensive sequences is going to be his e was just because of that stun and, of course, that single target damage. So, as he said, doing the utmost to protect it and it really paying off. Good defensive minor here from Samuel to prevent any sort of leaps coming in from that Mega Knight. Log to help and just trying to hold the line here on the left-hand side and win this bridge fight is the Space Station play. One more piercing shot from that Magic Archer brings that tower down to 523 HP. Well, Anytime an Ice Bolt well, is played well, high by Samuel, Jupiter King capitalizes with a Magic Archer. And this time, Minor goes into the same spot. Nothing for the high well, 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 Getting some chip here. Magic Archer does Ooh. go to the e -wiz. And Sam is coming back to the balloon here in a second. He might go second balloon on the right. He balloon. may. Miner's still there. There's the second balloon you're talking about. Musketeer crossing the river to tank for the balloon. Oh, balloon going on through. There's no balloon. Word. There's balloon. balloon is so very what close. What Bomb is the balloon? What is the balloon? Oh, Make some more room there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. Samuel gets through. Takes it with the hard cycle in triple elixir.
Space Station game is going to finals. Space Station. They eliminate Tribe on an incredible performance from their sophomore. That balloon just floating in the air for what felt like an eternity. And the bomb drops with a split second left. Adios, Tribe, Space Station Gaming going to the finals. If you're looking for a signature moment for Samuel, this Somewhere. is it. King of the Hill sweep for the young man to secure a spot in finals for his team. What an outstanding performance taking down Azilius, TNT, and then of course wow. Jupiter King himself. Space okay, Station congratulations, Space Station Gaming. Three, four, to the final. five set sweep. Chung mừng, chung mừng, chung mừng. incredible tribe squad that started off today at 